Hey guys, it's Miss Speaks. This video is going to hit on some tips and tricks of Edmodo just since we've gotten started. Um, the first thing everyone wants to do is get started with their avatar because the picture is important to them. You can upload a photo, um, either one you've taken or one that you've downloaded from the internet on a Google search. Make sure it's school appropriate. Or you can personalize your avatar um, and click that and go with the um, the items they already have. So you can click the face and decide um, the shape of the face and what kind of shirt and what kind of eyes and what kind of mouth and what kind of hair and spend probably more time than we even want to think about playing around with this stuff, right? Um, so decide on what you want and Go with, I'm going with that. And you can save that, and that's your new little person. You can also, again, upload a photo um, if that's what you would rather do. And update. So my student now has an image as an avatar. Another thing you may want to personalize, especially if you have classes here from when you were in elementary school, is the color of our class, our class period. So you just pick that square and you can pick a different color and um, then that way uh, that class will stand out from your other listed of classes. The next thing I want to show you is how to make a post. Um, we keep in mind that if you're posting to the whole class um, that you are going to make sure it's something that would be appropriate to ask out loud in class. It should be helping you or someone else learn what we are learning in class. It should be school appropriate and on topic and should be written in correct English. So you type your note here and you would ask a question like can someone give me an example of indirect characterization and that's something that anybody can give you an example it doesn't have to be uh, me at all so when you send to you're gonna send to your class your class period and that's gonna send it to everyone in class if you wanted to send um, the note to yourself you can also choose yourself. My character's name here, this uh, student, is Katniss Everdeen. So she could also send a message to herself. So you would pick that in the language arts class and it would go to everybody. Um, that's basically that in a nutshell. Now let's say you don't want to um, send something to everybody because you have a question that's going to go just to me. A question like, I was absent and missed the test. Can I take it at lunch Friday? Everyone doesn't need that on their wall. You would just want to choose me, and it will only come to me. So if it's something you would ask me between class um, about making up a test, about an issue um, in the class, or being able to see the board, or I don't know, something you'd ask me between class, just me, then you just want to send it to me. If it's something that's about the topic that everyone should be able to see and discuss, like you would ask out loud in class, then it goes to language arts class. And you can message yourself if you find that helpful. So the general setup has the different classes here, communities here. There's a code for your parents to join and be able to see uh, what's going on and the main wall here. Um, up here in the corner I want to show you this. Anytime you get lost or you're not sure you've clicked things and you want to get back to your main page, click home and it'll bring you back to home. Take a look at this little uh, heartbeat kind of looking thing. It's called progress. And if you go to your, it, right now that's the only class she's in, so there's language arts class. If you had lots of classes, you might have lots of options. Choose the class that you're in, and it'll show you your assignments and, and um, badges that you may have been awarded, and your classmates and other teachers you may be connected with. So that'll show you progress, especially your grades when we start getting into grades, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Backpack will have to do with um, files that you've turned in and um, things like that. So uh, folders that you have of work, turned in work. Um, it connects with Google Drive and things like this. Again, go to home if you get sort of turned around and, and need to come back to the main wall. A few things about your account. So next to your avatar that's here in the corner, 
um, and the bell will show you notifications if something has been posted or commented, um, you've gotten a comment back or something like that. Um, click your little down arrow right here under your account. Let's start with profile. This is where you're going to tell everyone a little bit about yourself as a learner. You can choose a favorite quote. It might be from a book. It might from, be from a famous person or an author um, or, or anything like that. Search for a good quote that kind of summarizes you as a person. How do you like to learn? Um, select your favorite way to learn, um, hands-on listening or visually, and um, pick the one that's the most like you. Um, career goal, you can select a, a career goal from here. And again, it just sets up so that, that you have more of a personalized um, uh, profile so people can know more about you. Okay, so that's right under your profile, under account, uh, under account for profile. Let's go to settings. Okay, settings. Here's our Katniss Everdeen. You can um, verify verify your password from here. You can also um, change your profile from here. And if you are one of the people who wrote your name in like this, please take a minute right now and put it like you would you know in language arts class the way you should with capital letters for proper nouns and save proper uh, save personal information there um, next um, there is a place for help and um, below that you know the topics if you wanted to know more about things um, that and you click I'm a student and it'll give you a few tutorials and other things and below that is the uh, logout. So you always want to make sure if you're on a popular um, site or a, a public a public computer, I mean, a public computer, you always want to be extra sure you've logged out so nobody else can do anything or post as you. All right, back to my home. So I'm going to go back to where I started. This calendar will let you see all the things that you've been, your planner book kind of lets you see all the things that you've been assigned. Um, and so you can do uh, several things with that. The other thing I want to show you is this filter posts by. Filter posts by is really handy and I'll tell people to do that a lot um, if they can't find something I've sent them. By author is the most common. If you want to search by the things you've put there just to see the things you have ever said in class, you can sort by yourself. But the thing that um, is most common is I say sort by teacher because then it'll remove all the other stuff and you can see the things I've posted if you're looking for something I've posted and you can't find it um, that's one way to find it easily is sort by teachers you can also uh, filter it by latest posts you just want to see the alerts the polls the quizzes um, and things like that so let's sort by teachers and you'll see that all the things that as a teacher got posted um, are there at the top so then you'll have things like uh, quizzes and assignments that can be given on Emoto. Again, they'll pop up in that progress section. It'll say take quiz. You need to know that might not be counted as a quiz in class. It might be formative or just practice homework or, or um, something that's not going to count in your grade. They call anything that you take and it scores a quiz. Um, you need to know when you click take a quiz, once you do that, you cannot back out of it and then take it later. So once you've opened it, you're taking it. I always put out any questions and let you know a few things. Um, this was a big one at the end of EOGs last year. Um, but make sure you have enough time to finish and make sure you are, you know, if it's five questions and you um, know you have enough time and permission to start it, great. But make sure you're aware that um, once you hit take quiz, you are started on that. So you want to make sure it's the right time to do so. Also, one more thing I almost forgot under account um, and settings would be where you can get your updates, email and text updates, um, and you can get a text message, or this is my throwaway email that I did, I used to set this up. Um, you do not want all of this clicked. Um, you would be getting emails or text messages every second. But if you, um, alerts would be what is used if it's a really important update. So maybe a text just for those would make sense for you. Or a direct message to you from, um, from me would be worth it. Um, or an assignment being posted or a quiz, maybe, maybe. But if it were me, 
I would back all that off. Maybe just alerts and maybe maybe direct messages that you would want as an email or a text message. And again, that's optional. I just wanted you to know it's there. Here's where you manage your password if you need to change it. Um, be careful. I would keep it your your number or something you're very sure about. And um, we won't be using that particular part right now with applications. Let's say you've made a horrible mistake because you said something that you're not supposed to. Um, you made a post that is something that you realize you shouldn't have. Um, do you know what's for homework? I just posted, okay, as as the me that I'm logged in as. Okay, and then you realize that is not grammatically correct. That is not what I'm supposed to say. Um, if you hover over any post, you'll see the little gear. And you can always delete the reply completely or edit it. If you click edit, it'll open back up for you to, to change. Um, and if obviously you hit delete reply, it will disappear. So make sure you edit or delete posts um, if you need to, if you've made a mistake. And finally, um, let's see, one of the last things I want to let you know is you might have an assignment that is assigned through Edmodo. Just like the quiz, you have a turn in button. Um, you click turn in. Now obviously our Katniss Everdeen has not turned it in and it's late because this was from last year but there's a couple ways to turn in the assignment. So you could type a response here if you were just giving an answer to an assignment here. Um, or you can, and you also can um, tell me what you think of the assignment. Or you come down here and this is where you would attach a file. So if you'd wanted to attach your My Name essay, you could do that, you could attach the file. A link to the internet there or something out of your backpack files that I, we looked at before. Um, you can turn in, um, you can also type a note that's not related to the assignment, it, that's related to the assignment but is not a uh, part of it. Uh, here's my, my name essay, um, please let me know if, I mean, if you had a note that you wanted to attach, kind of like putting a sticky note on the assignment, something you wanted me to know, um, is the comment, that's an optional thing. Um, and turn in assignment, oh, it wants a reaction. Um, let's see. So let's let's say this was a tough, challenging assignment. Turn in the assignment. And um, one thing I wanted you to know is, unlike quizzes, you can resubmit assignments. You can go in and do a new revision. It will keep track of exactly when you are submitting it, um, whether it's late or not. But um, it's not like the quiz that once you turn it in, you are turned in and you're done. Okay, and then if I go back to um, the home again here, and again my posts and now it's see it's submitted but it says awaiting grade she's turned it in but it's awaiting a grade um, that's how she knows that I've received it and waiting for a grade okay again filter post let's go by teachers again so it's pulling all the teacher ones up um, if you do a take quiz um, once you've taken it if I have enabled it to be um, where you can see the key then you'll be able to see exactly what you've gotten right and exactly what you've gotten wrong. Um, red and green and things like that. But um, again, um, I very rarely actually give a quiz that's counted as a quiz on a moto. It's usually more like homework practice so that you can know how you're doing before the real test. Um, and again, home, go back to home if we need to. Um, that's pretty much it. Changing the image, changing the avatar, your setting accounts, notification, profile information, making sure your name is capitalized correctly. That's where you log out. Um, typing your note here and underneath it, um, who it would go to. Um, and replying to a post right there, editing it um, with that gear. I think we covered most of what you needed to know. Let me know if you have any questions and um, you can always ask me in person or send me a direct post if you're confused. Spend some time now just um, taking care of these little things that um, set up your account and then we'll move on to the next thing. Thanks.